Hello guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, newer, hold on, let me put this in my chair, geez. the newer um, Hitchin Hall sets from Matchbox, got the Jeep Wagoneer and the Dodge Durango, two castings that I do collect, these ones were uh, provided by Diecast Car Guru, if you remember in that haul video, so this video will say it's um, made and partnered with Diecast Car Guru. I have some suspicions that are that there are some retools going on with some of this. The Wagoneer, not so much. I did bring out an older release just to see with the hitch to see if they modified it. If anything, I think they modified the trailer, but I don't have a horse trailer, so I can't say if that's modified or not. If it might say on the base. But I do have a bigger suspicion with the camper trailer on the Durango because this is the original casting for the camper trailer. That's not fitting. No way that's fitting on the Durango's hitch. Oh, oh, it might actually. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a little tight. A little tight. So, I'm under suspicion that they did modify something there. So, we'll, we'll check all that out. Look at the Wagoneer going first. The Rancher truck. We'll just park them in the foreground for now. Big packaging, but there's you get, you get some things with this. Now, I, I haven't found these in the store. Uh, I think he got these at Aldi's, which is a grocery store here in North America. I don't know how readily accessible they are. I know there's a lot of them in New York, and I'm guessing there's some down there where he is. But uh, I don't know about the the West Coast so much. Uh, you do get, actually, yeah, because I thought this looked a bit weird without the name of the vehicle, but it's actually behind uh, so you can actually see it there, 23 Dodge Durango. We'll look at our little figurines first. We got some cactus. Now these, there is some nice detail in these um, little figurine things. But uh, just them being solid color, they kind of look funny. If I wanted to, oh look, it's got a little um, bull skull. See, if I wanted to, I could paint the detail. I could paint the skull. And I probably, I, I could if I'm really up to it. More cactus. Paint the base brown, maybe add some shadow. I don't know. I don't know how to be that 3D artistic. This can move. And we got some ranchers here. Cowboy. This is a, I already say hello to Joe, by the way. No. <laughs> and of course it has the horse trailer, so it has to have a horseman. This one's actually rubber, which is interesting. This is like flexible rubber. These these are hard plastic. Um, and we got another rancher on here. What, are, what if you could put it down like that? Hey, that kind of works, but he is uh, he's doing a wheelie. <laughs> now look at the models out. I like the color on this. The Wagoneer. I'll start with the trailer. Of course, I couldn't remove the decals off of it, but, you know, with the trailer, I don't think you would. I mean, if I got this without the trailer, then yeah. But, of course, that fits, fits nicely. Yeah, I think, I think that hole is bigger than they would usually be. Here we have... 
your kettle trailer. Now it is, it doesn't open. I think it used to. I think this is based on an old Leslie casting. Pony trailer, actually, not a cattle trailer. Trailer. 2016, okay, so it's already had a retool. Because I know this is, this has to be older than 2016. I know that it's probably based on, like, the uh, Leslie matchbox. I think there's a spare wheel in there. It's hard to see. I wish you could actually put a horse in there, but I guess it's okay how it is. Oh, I knocked over Rancher Joe, by the way. Here's the Wagoneer. I love that Metal Flake brown. It's like an orange brown. Oh, it's very nice. We got the Lasso Ropes. Jimmy G's Rodeo. Bull Riding. Alright, so we'll say this that's Joe, by the way. This is Jimmy G. Not to get confused with Jimmy Dean. <laughs> Rio Ranch. Is that Minnesota? Or, yeah, I think that's Minnesota. No, is it Minnesota? Minnesota's not, like, western, though, is it? Okay. Let's uh let's not go into geography. I should probably know that. And I and I used to. It probably isn't Minnesota. I'm just blinking. No, but what else would it be? Maybe it's a reference to something with the Matchbox Dream team. Toast the camper very nicely, though. I think it's like mid-south, or mid-west. It's not completely south. But yeah, I like how it fits. There's no, um, no tension, like if I put the old pop-up on the Durango. It fits very nice. Speaking of Durango, let's get the camping one. Um, opened up and we can push these back or oh, he's taking a rest all right this camping one is really cool and I hold on all right I had to grab something you'll see in a second after I open this up, because there is a vehicle that this Durango reminds me of, an older Matchbox release. Let's get this Durango out. And I, I haven't seen anybody really make the connection with uh, this other vehicle that I have, so we'll see. We'll see what you guys think about it. I think, I think there's definitely a little bit of a resemblance with it, but I will look at the props first. We got your uh, classic looking like hiking map. I've seen a few of those. We got the deer. This one's rubber too. I guess it's so, uh, you know, if you don't leave it on the floor and mother steps on it, <laughs> isn't piercing her foot. <laughs> And we got the wolf. Is the wolf rubber? Oh yeah, the wolf's rubber too. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, don't do that. You're going to make it collapse. Because it has one leg up. Kind of scary looking. And then we got the hiking man, which is actually plastic. It's funny how much movement... They look similar too. A little bit. The wolf. Wolf's rubbery. And I can bend it a little bit. This guy, no. <laughs> He's a uh, completely. Um, solid. There you go. He's hiking. I don't. He's got his hiking stick. He's prepared. Boom. And uh, let's get out his. 
camper trailer. And we will see if they've changed anything about the trailer. I think the reason, okay, so when I do sets like this, and I say it about the green light sets too, they always make the trailer match the car. And I'm like, why do they always look weird if you put it on a different vehicle? Let's just say we put it on this Durango. It kind of looks funny, just a little bit. I wonder why they do that, or why it looks like that. And I figured out, well, real campers are always white, so they go with anything. That's why I like some of the green light ones and these matchbox ones, they don't like, they only fit with what they came with because it's color matched. But, you know, with the Durango, it's gonna, it looks really cool. I like it with the Durango, this red Durango, not the black one. I like the striping on this one too. New Mexico. Oh, you know what? No, that's M, M N. This is N N. Yeah. Hot air balloon. You know, I don't know. Camping in New Mexico. I mean, that would be more of a overlander thing. Grand Canyon, Yellowstone. So it's they're collecting uh, stickers on where they're going. I heart camping. Oh, there's different stickers over here, too. I heart glaciers. I uh, can't make out what that is. Something island. Hike America. The Valley of the Colorados. Or... Colorados. New Mexico. And that one says Grand Canyon again. The striping's the same. The stickers are different. I hope... Hope this hasn't been retooled. Uh, actually, I can check the bit. It has. Twenty twenty. And actually, I can already tell that by the, the hitch. This is your old one. This is your new one. It has been retooled. It doesn't. It's not too far off. This one's more pointed. A little more realistic. I think all your details still gonna be there. But with the interiors, I I know on the old one it you can pop it out. Maybe. Yeah. You can pop it out. I'm interested to see if the interior has changed. The tops, the tops seem to be the same, like even the same texture. Actually, this one, this one's a more more refined. I like the texture on this one. Actually, I wonder if they'll even let you take it out. I don't think they're, I think, I think it's in there. I don't think they're letting you take it out. Well then, what's in there? You got someone on the bed. Oh, I can see that. See this cabinet? It's got three drawers. That one's got one. Oh, or it's got two. Tier is a bit different. It's not focusing. You see that right there? You can see the two drawers. One, two. There's an, there's a third one. It's a little uh, shorter. Dang, will this top really not come off? I don't want to break it though. I don't think it's gonna come off. Oh. The dog's metal. You can see that, right? The red on the floor there. The dog lying on the floor is metal now. Rather than it being plastic. Very interesting. And of course on this side there's a bench and a cup or a stove. Still there. But yeah, they did change it. The top. I think the top's the same. What's the other side? Yeah, it's the same. And of course there's a privacy thing on the other side. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. Very 
pretty interesting they changed it. Not that you can really tell with the top on, like you really have to look in there, which is what I was planning to do. I like with the five spokes though that they only did the inside. I think that's a cool look. And they did it on the Durango too. I heart camping, look at that. Dodge, you got your headlights looking good. That that grill is actually open. I never noticed that on the black one. Well, there's plastic behind it, but it's completely open. It's harder to notice details like that on the black one. I like I'm I'm almost liking the red better because you can see more detail. It's a nice metal flake, metal flake red. Uh, but the best part of this is the back. I can't tell what kind of plate that is. It's probably New Mexico. Uh, I stop for bears and waterfalls. National Parks Volunteer. There's your little deer. I think there was a variation with the stickers, if I was not mistaken, but I don't know. And of course, it does hitch up quite nicely. You can see too, yeah, see that? That pulls up nicely, but you can see that the trailer hitches have changed a lot. They all are now thick like that. Look how thick it is compared to the old one. And now I'm, I'm sure this will fit just fine in there, like with ample space. Ooh. Actually, that sits better than the original one because this one is tilted back a little bit. You see that, right? This one um, sits flush. Interesting. I want to be mad if they bring this casting back into this line. Um, I have made a mess on the table, but there's one more thing I want to do is compare the Durango. This isn't the first time we've seen something very similar like this. And I think the Matchbox team might have did this on purpose, making it red too. This Suburban, this one has seen some days, I know. Um, got this one used, but it was just too cool because of the bumper stickers on the back. Look at that. And this one is <laughs> very nice to me because it says, uh, I heart New York. But look at that. They're not the same stick. Wait a minute. Well, this one says I heart camping rather than I heart vacation. I don't know. I want to know if this was a... It might have been in a five pack with a camper trailer. Or maybe it was in the Hitchin Hall way back in the day. Because those sets did exist, like I said, with this Jeep. There are older ones. But I don't know. I might have to go to the Matchbox Wiki and figure out where this thing came from. And I am I do really want a mint one because this one, I, I re-chromed the wheels with the Sharpie. I should probably do it with my chrome marker because that would look better. Yeah, that one is, that one's a bit worn. But that is all I have for this video. A lot, a lot to talk about, a lot to show, and a lot on the screen right now. Uh, so what do you think of these sets? I think they're pretty cool. I... Hope to see some more from Matchbox. I think they kind of teased one with the Ford Ranchero and it had a camper trailer. I think it was the the one axle one, that the retool. It could be new, I don't know, but Matchbox teased something with a camper trailer. And it was it was a red Ford Ranchero with a red camper trailer. So I mean I'm assuming that's up here. So I'm interested to see about that. But yeah, I like I like the set. I like both of these sets. Well, I'm I met. I like the Hitchin Halls, especially these ones. Uh, cause the other ones, I I don't even know what the point of. See, if you look on the back of the card, that one's not even a Hitchin Hall. And then there's those two, which are kind of kind of meh. Um, this one, this one I know there was a variation of with the swimming one, because you could get different colors of that 
trailer, I think. And I think there might have been a variation of that. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. See ya.